do not point at people in the Philippines. It's a sign of disrespect here. It's like, hey you. And it's like, okay, we'll get them on up, let's go. Put them up, put them up. You see? If you wanna point at something, you just use your lips. And I know that's, that looks crazy to a Westerner, but I'm used to it now, living here in the Philippines. The first thing that you need to know that you should never do in the Philippines, okay, is go into a Filipino's house without asking if you should take off your shoes. Take off your zapatos, diba? Why? Because Filipinos, just like a lot of Asian cultures, they have a tradition of showing respect to a person's house by taking off your shoes and not bringing in the dirt of the day into their house, right? When you do that, it's a show of disrespect. Actually, you know, it's like, yeah, you're basically saying, I don't give a damn about your house, the hell with your house. Uh, 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 and take some more dirt on your flow. Uh, 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 there you go. You see, this is how they think. This is how they will look at it. When you, when you come, you have to have proper etiquette. As soon as you come to the door, take your shoes off, right? Let's talk about complaining, okay? A lot of foreigners come here to the Philippines and they find themselves complaining about what the Filipinos don't have, what, you know, the country doesn't offer, why, um, you know, is things so slow? Why are things like this? Why are things like that? Bro, you're in a developing country. That's number one, okay? And you got a lot of motorcycles in the Philippines. <laughs> But number one, you're in a developing country, okay? So you gotta realize, and I'm not gonna call it a third world country, because as I always say, third to who? Because in their heart, they're a first world people. You understand? They're good people here. So I don't call it a third world. I call it a developing country. So they may not have some of the things, No, for sure I know, they don't have some of the things that you're used to, some of the resources that you're accustomed to in the US or in the UK. They just don't have it. Why complain about it? You're just gonna annoy people, right? And you're, why they don't hear this? Why they don't hear that? Uh, uh, I don't wanna, uh, uh, and everybody's just looking at you like this. Yeah, are you finished yet? Okay, can we carry on with our day now? Salamat. You see? Because complaining ain't gonna get nothing done, is it? No. Right? So, yeah, don't complain because you're gonna just piss people off, man. And also, you gotta think about how it makes the people feel around you when you're complaining, right? And ridiculing or downing their country. How do you think they feel when you do that? See? The, the golden rule, right? The golden rule. Treat others, Diba, as you would like to be treated. Mm? And if somebody comes around you and they dish your country and they talk shit about the way things are, stuff, you'll be pissed. So how do you think they feel? Just because they're quiet and they don't say anything, that don't mean that you're not annoying the shit out of them. They just have a different way of dealing with people. Filipinos are naturally shy people, right? But when they get in their circles among each other, you know what they're gonna say? Man, that big ass foreigner was annoying as hell. He was just complaining. What's wrong? Like, dude, why do they always complain? If, if you know, if, if he hates it so much, he should go back to his country. Trust me, this is what they're saying in their circles. They may not say it to your face, but that's what they're thinking. So be courteous, learn the language, show them that you respect where you're at. Now look, I can't say I know the language fully, right? But I know enough Visaya to survive, Diba. I know a little. And the fact that I'm trying, this is what people respect. You understand? Show the Kababayan that you want to be a part of their country, right? Uh, make sure the woman that you're dating is of legal age, bro, or a child of legal age. Hey, listen, man. Uh, yeah, that's, that, that's, that's, that's another thing. Make sure when you come here, the woman that you're dating is not under age. Because I see this a lot. 
Believe it or not, a lot of foreigners come here and be trying to get with underage girls, right? Some may do it on accident because the girl, she might have a fake ID or something like that. But, you know, sometimes I be walking around the Philippines and I see some old man walking like this. And he got a girl with him look like she's 17 years old. She walking all spry, la 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 la. And he walking like this. Damn, how many Viagra pills do he need? I don't know, man, what the hell? What's going on? But a lot of times, those girls be underage. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't like it. I got daughters. You sick freaking person. <laughs> I don't even wanna curse, but the Philippines is not a place to come and, 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 and act out your perverted fantasies. Do you understand that? You don't come here and mess with these young girls, man. They're kids. Let them be a kid. Let them have a life. Okay? Because I'm going to tell you right now, if I see you doing it, if you out here in the Philippines, you a foreigner or whatever, oh yeah, uh, we fellow foreigners and all that bullshit, but if I see you with an underage girl, I'm calling the police. You hear me? Immediately. Okay? Because it, because it ain't right. Don't do that, man. Get you a grown-ass woman on some grown-ass woman shit. You know what I mean? It's true, man. I mean, that should be pissing me off, dude. There's another one, and I had to learn this the hard way, guys, okay? And I'll tell you the story about it. If you're invited to a Filipino gathering, you're invited to, I say, a party or, or any, any kind of thing like that, right? Don't leave the party without at least eating something. If you leave the party and you don't eat nothing, they look at that as kind of like disrespectful, right? And um, I had a story, I got a story about this situation or whatever, because one time um, my girl wanted me to go to this party, right? And it was a party of one of, I think it was one of her classmates, right? Was having a party, they wanted me to, um, wanted her to come, and you know, of course she wants me to go with her, right? And I was lazy that day. I'm laying in the bed with the air con on. I'm cracking my toes. I'm watching my Netflix. And she said, come on, babe, we gotta go. I didn't wanna go nowhere. But I drug my ass out of the bed, got up, got ready, and went there, right? And I told her, I said, look, I don't feel like going out today, so we gonna go in there for 15 minutes, okay? Now, 15 minutes in the Philippines, it's more like 45 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes in the Philippines is like one hour. Like Levi said, one hour, right? Man, 15 minutes turned into 20 minutes, turned into 45 minutes. We ended up there almost an hour, right? And then they finally pulled out the food, right? And started eating and stuff. Dude, by this time, I'm ready to go home, okay? I'm like, dude, I'm, 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 I'm nudging Queenie. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. And I'm and, I, and I'm doing the I'm doing the Filipino lip point towards the door. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm doing that to the door. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right? And she's like, we haven't even eaten yet. You really want to leave? And I said, I told you I didn't want to be here in the first place. She's like, okay, let's just say bye to everybody and just leave. So we said bye to everybody, and everybody's kind of looking kind of weird, but they're like, okay, bye, or whatever. And you know. We walked out. Do you know the host of the party ran out of the house and said, hey, 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 hold on. You cannot leave. You, you did not eat anything. You cannot leave if you don't eat. You, you talking to me? I'm a grown ass man. I go wherever the fuck I want to, when I want to, how I want to. Queenie said, stop, babe. This is our custom here. When you come to a party, it's rude if you don't eat. And so I, Calm down, took my key out of the car, because I was already in the car. I was ready to gizzo, you hear me? I took my key out of the car, I said, okay, let me go in and chill out and have a little bite to eat with them, right? But I was so surprised the host actually came out of the house and said, you cannot leave until you eat. See, it's different here, man. Like, in America, like, you could go to a party, you can drop in for five minutes. Hey, what's up, mother? All right, bye, mother. Not in the Philippines. 
no, 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 no. You're going to make a plate right now and have something to, to freaking eat. Sit down with us, eat something, chill with us for a minute, and then you can go, right? And don't you dare turn no food down. That's another one. Don't turn no food down in the Philippines or act like it's nasty or something like that or whatever. The best thing to say if you don't want the food or whatever, um, that uh, the particular dish that they have, like me. Okay, look, let me be honest to you. I'm not a big fan of lechon, right? Now, I like the, the what is the kawali? What is, what is the one out of the lechon that comes out that the spicy? Uh, paxil, right? Paxil, paxil. Now, I do like paxil a lot. I enjoy paxil, that's good. And that and that's the guts of the pig, right? That comes out when they make the... Body parts of The body parts, what I enjoy that. But for some reason, I really don't like the texture of the lechon. It's like the, the meat gets stuck in my teeth. <laughs> I gotta go to the dentist, guys. I'm sorry, I got holes in my teeth and shit. But it gets stuck in my teeth and all that stuff. And my girl, she's just sitting there. She likes the crunchy part, right? She likes the chicharron, the ch that's what you guys call them, chicharron. She likes to break off the chicharron and just crunch. And just look me in the eye while she's doing it. Crunch. You want some of this? Crunch. No. <laughs> But you can't say that in the Philippines. It will offend people, even if you don't really like it. Just find a, 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 a polite way to say it, right? Like, for instance, I don't like lechon, right? So when they got the lechon out, I'll load my plate up with, you know, panzed, paxil, some of the fried chicken, some of the other stuff. And then what do I say when her father offers me lechon? I say, oh, oh, pa, it's okay. I'm, I'm, I got a lot. I got a lot already. It's okay, pa. I'll, I'll be full. I'll, I'll be full. Like that. I don't say, nah, Pa, I don't really like Lee Chan. I don't like that. Or I don't like this. I don't like, you know, it's 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 kind of seen as rude here in the Philippines, right? Okay? So damn, that was like, that was like two things not to do in one. Like don't, don't um leave before you eat at a party and don't turn down the food at a party unless you turn it down with a courteous manner. Don't even reject the food and don't leave the party without eating. Yeah, that, that's two. That's two, bro. So, yeah, man, for real. Uh, don't point at people in the Philippines, bro. Do not point <laughs> at people in the Philippines. It's a sign of disrespect here. And I know you're... You're from the Western world and you're from, you know, and we do that. Hey man, go over there right now. Wait, wait. They don't do that here. Okay, you point at somebody here, that's looked at almost like a challenge. You understand? Like you, like you want to fight, right? It's like, hey you, hey, hey. And it's like, okay, we'll get them on up. Let's go. <laughs> put them up, put them up. You see? That's what that means in the Philippines. No, if you want to point at someone, you can use a small gesture like this. <laughs> or, or do the kiss. But that's, to, that's more like to get their attention though, right? Like, like. And you know in America, that's what, what we do for our dogs. <laughs> come here, come here, come here doggy. But here in the Philippines, that's a way to get somebody's attention. Just, or either if you want to point at something, you just <laughs> use your lips. And I know that's, that looks crazy to a Westerner, but I'm used to it now, living here in the Philippines. I'm used to the way that they get attention or the way that they point out something to you. Or they might do a head nod like, over there, over there, over there, like that. But don't point, trust me. <laughs> you do not want to get into no fights out here, okay? I'm trying to keep your ass out of hot water, okay? Listen to your boy, Dean. I'm an American vlogger. I'm not just an American living in the Philippines. So um, I feel like I have even more responsibility, um, one, to the future expats, and expats are foreigners coming to the Philippines, to future expats coming to the Philippines. I have a responsibility to teach them the right way to be when they come here, to continue to build this country into a great place. A developing country means that they're developing. Keyword, developing. When you're developing something, you're building upon building upon building upon building until you have total greatness. That's what developing something means. 
So if you come to the Philippines and you're rude, you're arrogant, you know, you complain, you're fucked up to people, you're breaking down the country. You ain't helping to develop it. You ain't building it up, right? So you have to learn how to be um, a benefit to the country rather than just a user. I just want to use all these women for their right? I just want to use this place because my dollar goes 50 times here, you know, and just, you know, use, 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 use. No. How about give, 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 give. Give something, right? Give something back. That's why I'm going to add a bonus never do in the Philippines. If you are a Philippine vlogger, never be rude to your subscribers when they come up to you. Show them love. They're the reason why you blowing up, right? To them, the vloggers are the stars in their country. Because everybody don't got no TV, but everybody got a phone, right? So the TikTok vloggers, the Facebook vloggers, the YouTube vloggers, these are the stars here, man. And you have to be humbled by that and have to be happy that they embraced you and they love you. Because there's some um, foreign vloggers in the Philippines that the Filipinos don't like. Why? Mostly because they talk shit about the Philippines, right? And ain't no reason to talk shit about the Philippines because every country is f***ed up in some way or another. America ain't perfect. Britain ain't perfect. Okay, Africa ain't perfect. The Philippines ain't perfect. Nowhere is perfect, man. So don't talk shit. Learn how to adapt, assimilate, overcome, and be a benefit to the place where you're living at. Right? So anytime when I see my, my Kababayan come up to me, hey man, vlogger, vlogger. Sometimes they don't even know my name. I'm just vlogger. Vlogger! <laughs> be like, hey, how you doing, man? How you doing? And they're like, you give me a selfie. Man, Filipinos love selfies, right? <laughs> And they do real selfies out here. They put the damn camera upside down, okay? So they can get the real click, you hear me? And they gonna take about four, five of them. Oh, one more, one more. One more, one more. Okay, okay, uh, funny face now, funny face. You see? Because they just enjoy life. Photos are memories that you can have for the rest of your life. You know, uh, Filipinos enjoy and respect the simple things. You know, karaoke, singing. You got some You got some good pollutants, some karaoke, some drinks. You know what I'm saying? And they're, they're, they're happy. Oh, that brings me into another one about pollutants. Never invite a Filipino to your house for drinks if you don't have a pollutant. <laughs> Nobody wants to drink on a freaking empty stomach, right? Now, in, in America, we, we start drinking, shit, what, noon? We ain't ate nothing. All right, let me start my day, right? <laughs> but in the Philippines, there's a different protocol. Um, anytime I'm with, my boy Levi is next to me, but you guys never see him. He's my assistant and um, cameraman, he helps me out. But every time we drink together, he's, he's gotta go grab some, some uh, junk foods and some snacks. And I just be looking at him like, he's like, bro, I don't drink without a pollutant. And so I learned that, that if you invite somebody over for drinks, have some food, dude. Because Filipinos like to eat first and then get fucked up. <laughs> Am I right or wrong? So yeah, so, so, so that's another one, bro. Um, yeah, yeah, if, if you don't have a pollutant or some kind of snack or something, don't even offer drinks, man, because they ain't gonna drink on an empty stomach. And that's just from experience I've learned that, right? Oh yeah, and when you meet somebody, don't, don't crush their freaking hand. I know in America we shake hands like this. Matter of fact, put your hand in the frame. Put your hand in the frame. This is how we shake hands in America. How you doing, sir? I respect you. Okay, let's do business. How does your hand feel? Suck it, bro. Suck it, bro. <laughs> right? Because in America, a firm handshake is a sign of respect. It shows that you're a man. It shows that you're tough, right? But in the Philippines, that's looked at as aggressive. It's like, what the f is this 
fool squeezing my hand for like that? <laughs> they don't do a lot of touching like that. They might say, hey, how you doing? And a lot of them don't even look you in your eye when you first meet them because it's a kind of a shy culture until they're around loved ones and friends and family that they know for sure, that's when you see the real them. That's when the shyness is, oh, it's, it's gone now. Or if you get about a few red horses in a, a Filipino, then you see the real personality come out, you hear me? But for the most part, they're, um, they're not an aggressive culture, right? Unless you piss them off. Which brings me to my last and final one I'm gonna to talk to you about, okay? As a foreigner coming here to the Philippines, don't be all boisterous and like um, uh, disrespectful to people because, you know, you don't wanna make a lot of enemies out here in the Philippines. As I said before in one of my videos, Filipinos are awesome people. They can be your best friend or your worst freaking enemy. And when you piss a Filipino person off and make an enemy out of them, they're not gonna stop, ever, until one of y'all gone. This is, this, this is how it is, man. Because the culture is so nice, because the people try to be so courteous to each other, if you step over somebody or if you hurt somebody in their family, they're gonna go all out for your ass. I'm telling you, you don't wanna make enemies here. Now, of course, if somebody's messing with you, defend yourself, defend your family, but don't be a bully. Don't start shit, end shit. You understand? <laughs> okay? So, um, you know, these are just things that I feel like will be helpful to foreigners moving here, man, to the Philippines, um, that will really um, help you be successful here because the Philippines is a beautiful, chill, awesome place that you can really have a great life if you learn to assimilate to the way of life all right and that's my take on everything guys i'm dean hashim like share subscribe do all that shit i'm out <laughs>